Hello everybody, GG Works again with an update on my wheel alignment tools. I've been making some progress, so let's get into it. I'm happy to say I've got my box. I made all the brackets and the frames and things, so let me tell you more about it. I was having problems with the car being, uh, when I take the car in for an alignment, and then when it comes back, it's not adjusted or one side is not adjusted. They don't tell you that one wheel is not adjusted properly or when they do adjust it, it just seems to be in the green. So they put the lasers on, put all the frames on, and then now as long as they adjust it so that it's in the green, they don't care what the angles are, but if it's red, they adjust it if they can. And then when it goes green in there on screen, uh, diagnostic or software then that's where they leave it and the car is done but this is not good enough sorry that's my air dryer but um, it's just not good enough I'm getting I've had three different alignments and each time it's just not in spec and um, so I looked up the spec on Volkswagen manual came up with the right specs and then I decided to learn more about it but also make my own framework to do my own wheel alignment in the garage. So here we go. This is the box I made with all the goodies inside. So let's get into it. So as you can see, there's some pie plates in there. Um, it's a cheap man's uh, slip, slip plates or turn plates that I use. I put the wheels on top of that. And now when it's stationary, the, um, the wheels can be turned to do the caster and uh, turning circle, etc., etc. So, let me tell you more about it. What I'll do is I'll, I'll do an in-depth actual alignment. But what I've done is just go up here. That's one of the frames. So I've made four of these frames that go in and they get clamped onto the wheel. So it's adjusted. So each level is absolutely straight. So I, I put that on a known level surface. I use a one of these measuring devices. I sit it on top of the the frame and I adjust this frame so it's absolutely level by adjusting these little cap screws here. It's got the nut at the back. So and it's threaded so that you can actually do it. That is adjustable, so it fits various wheels. So what I've done is I've just put cap screws at the back, little yellow caps at the end just to protect so it doesn't scratch the actual rim surface. I, I used um, another nut here, just a cheap and nasty nut on the back. I've drilled and tapped it for a bolt, another cap screw that goes through here, and that actually does the, the mounting. So there's the frame on there. I've welded it up so that we've got, so there's my bullseye, and that'll get me, so if I adjust the tire, as you can see, it doesn't take much. So you just adjust it ever, ever so slightly and then a bubble comes back. So that tells me when the, it's absolutely straight up and down. That's my first measurement. Once I get that, these are my adjustments. So I adjust the string so it's absolutely straight on both sides, front and back. And I get that absolutely straight on both sides. So both sides are the same, that's left and right. Once I do that, when I do my turning circle, I adjust these. Now I can tell what they tow out to within a millimeter. There's the front and there's the the back. So that's the w what a that gives me my string alignment, gets me going on that. And for my camber, let's just turn this on here. I've welded on another plate. Oops. And that tells me the angle of the wheel. So obviously it's not set up right because up in there, this is, has to be done when it's sitting on its wheels and is ready to go. So there's my string. What I've done is I've melded on the pipe and I've actually drilled and tapped the actual brackets for the anti-roll bar. Um, so I'll just unscrew that, put everything back and then she's, and there's just enough room that I can turn the wheels and it misses this bar when I do my checks. Going back, there's my string, rear wheel, exactly the same. Everything's made exactly the same within, I would say, 0.2 of a millimeter. 
try to get it as close as I can. Same thing, a bullseye, just to get me in the ballpark. Then the framework. And I just happen to have a tow bar at the back, and I clamp that on there as just a normal bit of string at the end. I just put graduations every 10 millimeters just to give you an indication of how far you have to go in. But going back to here, this is actually the more critical thing is to get the uh, string directly above so that I am parallel to each side, either left side or the right hand side. Then I can figure out where my toe my toe in is. See, I look at there, and when we go there, there. So that's that. That'll get me my initial. Again, same thing again. On this side, that tells me the ca camber of there because again, this is made absolutely straight, welded on the back, so everything is absolutely perfect. Adjusted. She's very very stable does not move and I've got two others for the for the other side so that gets my jig absolutely working and uh, stand by for some more